loves and welcome back to my channel thanks for stopping by i have an unboxing so excited so i decided that i couldn't really wait to do a video <laughs> so it's an unboxing but it's kind of like a setup okay just go with it i did want to unbox da -da -da, my celine this is my first celine so I'm very excited. That's why I couldn't wait to actually do a proper unboxing because it's my first lean. I got something special. Something that is perfect for the fall. Something that is different. Well, kind of different. You know how you have like a certain taste? You'll see. When I, when I unbox it, you'll see. So we'll just get into it. All right, so I gotta figure out how to make unboxings cute, but you get the picture. You get the picture. It's all about the excitement. So this is just the information card here. All right, so yeah, it's just information on like protect from humidity, hand sanitizer, hand creams, avoid exposure to direct light. So I do have a window in my closet, but it's always closed. And as you see, I have all of my stuff in the dust bags anyway. Okay. So this is the beautiful dust bag, which is like, I just love, like, even with Chanel, their dust bag seems so rough. This is just very soft, smooth, silky, or satiny, whatever it's made out of, but it's double lined. And I think that makes the biggest difference. Louis and Fendi, their texture is very similar. Gucci used to have the satin ones. Those were nice. Prada's is similar to Fendi's. But Chanel's is kind of rough to me. Their cotton is kind of rough. But I think that Celine has the best dust bag. They have the best dust bag. I would, I, I don't know. I just think it's beautiful. I would use this for something. <laughs> it is double lined, which I absolutely love. And the inside is soft. The outside is soft. I just think the outside is actually beautiful with that pattern. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So... I got a Celine Triumph in medium, and I absolutely adore this bag. I already got stuff on the front. Don't mind that. Let me just, there we go. <laughs> At least I told you in the beginning, it wasn't an unboxing unboxing. It was like a setup unboxing. But isn't that gorgeous? The hardware alone sold me, completely sold me. But I think this bag is just absolutely beautiful. So I'm 5'9", and you can see where it hits me, right below the hip, and that's with it on the, oh yeah, so it can actually extend pretty far, because that's on the second hole right there. That's the first hole, mine's on the second. So you could do a really good crossbody, because I'm small chested, so it hits right here. I kind of like mine to sit a little bit higher, so that like if I have to sit, you know, it can rest in your lap and be just fine. This is in color Amazon, like Amazon green. <laughs> I tend to like the accordion style bag so that I can kind of stuff them and they can expand. So I didn't even realize that this was like that, but I think I'm just drawn to them because I have my Chanel Trendy, I have the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, and then I have this. And they're all in that three compartment accordion style. Let me move this out the way. Price point though, that's the, that's the kicker. Let's just admire the bag first. It's got some beautiful, can you see that? On the strap, it says Celine. It's just a very simple bag. To me, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of like the old school, like, 1940s bag you know it's just classic beautiful and I love the size let me see in comparison to the pochette Matisse I think the measurements on here are, they were six by nine by three yeah nine by six by three width so the pochette Matisse is actually a little bit bigger a little taller if you can see that Definitely a little taller. And of course the leather has way more give. It's a little less uh, structured than this lean bag, but I feel like that's what I was looking for in this one was a more structured and uh, more glam type bag, you know, something a little more dressy. 
So like I said, I was sold with the hardware here on the front. I should have done, <laughs> planned this out better, but at least we're keeping it real. The only thing about this bag, the leather is calfskin, but the leather is so smooth and so shiny that any little scuff shows up immediately. Like, I don't know if there's something I can do as far as like buffing out the bags, like if I get a scratch. Um, but yeah, so I took it out one time and I have a little teeny tiny scratch here on the front. And I mean, it won't bother me because I like to use my bags. I actually want to use them. And you can't see it unless you're literally this close, you know, staring at it for a minute or two. <laughs> so it doesn't really bother me, but I know that, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty gentle on my bags. And the fact that I already have a scratch after one use kind of scares me a little bit. So I know I'm probably going to just continue to use it as I did. And if it gets scratched up, um, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I can try to like buff it out somehow. The other problem too is because it's so delicate as far as you know the scuffs and scratches I have long nails so you if you wear long nails or wear your layer your nails long you may not want to go this route because the way that the clasp opens you have to pinch the two C's right in the middle and every time I do that I go in very slowly I keep my phone out so that I don't have to continuously pinch and pinch and pinch and then of course you may get some wear here on the edges where you have to bend it up open and close open and close so it's a little more finicky of a bag she's got a little attitude you know you just got to treat her right and she'll treat you right in return but what I do love too is the simplicity of the bag in general and it's very roomy Again, with the accordion style, it folds up small. If you don't carry a lot of things, if you need to carry a lot of things, it opens up very widely. And the inside is actually lambskin. So the outside is calfskin. So it gives you a little more durability. The inside is so smooth, like so soft. It's lambskin. And I mean, I just love even just reaching in the bag because the lining is lamb. It's just so nice. You just, you're, you reach in and you're reminded of the luxury. So you don't feel, I guess you're not going to feel as bad going to spend the money because you think you just got it like that. Which is <laughs> a terrible thing. If you open the bag, you immediately are greeted by that beautiful Celine name embossed right there. And then... On the inside, I don't know if I can get the angle right, but on this very last back pocket, it says Triumph right there. It's beautiful. So you have a slip pocket right here on the inside. Then you have the smallest compartment in the back, the widest compartment in the middle with an actual zipper pouch in that compartment. And then you have another small flat compartment in the front. Oh, and I just saw... Right back here, mine says made in Italy, right behind the Celine embossing on the front. So, we got a little bit of information in there. If you forget the name of the bag, where it was made, and then Celine right here on the front. Kind of saving it for the fall time. I think this is an absolutely beautiful color that is gonna look so fabulous with like an all cream or all white outfit or even like all gray. I just have like this monochromatic theme in my head with a pop of color but it's like a dark jewel toned color I recently was looking at different bags that have been kind of coming back and I see a lot of the velvet bags coming back and I just remembered uh, back when I got the Gucci Marmont bag and I have it in the uh, the velvet like cerulean color it's like this this deep sea blue it's just not the brighter blue like the baby blue one but the deep sea blue I have been just in love with that bag since I got it I know it was such a like certain time it was like dated <laughs> so I haven't worn it in years I think the last time I wore it was like 2017 I have a feeling though that that's gonna be big like just textures because for summer a lot of the raffia and like woven textures were really big for summer 22 so I have a feeling that texture in general will be back for fall of 22 and color has been big as well so I think between the two texture and color a mix of the two again coming out from 2020 into 2021 and everybody kind of getting their feet wet I think everything is coming back to 
you know, big and loud and fabulous. So I wanted a piece to kind of complement the saturated colors that are coming back and then still kind of keep it simple and classic because I think I have a lot of bags that'll fit into the styles that are coming for, for fall this year. So I'm excited for that. I think it'll be great for fall and great for winter. I don't really think it'll fit into spring and maybe summer though. I have a lot of dresses like, there's a dress back here actually I can show you. Like a dress like this, I wore this in Tulum when we went to Tulum. And so I think something like this that just has lots of vibrant colors and stuff that this would absolutely look beautiful with. But I think that's pretty much a summer thing when I can wear like the, the deep, bright colors. And then of course, like I said, winter and fall, if I can get these monochromatic looks, oh, I can't wait. So I'll show you those when I get a chance to actually pull it all together. One thing to consider as well, I'm not really familiar with their scheduling as far as the price increases, but I got this before the price went up. So when I purchased this one, it was 3,400. And I just looked online today and it was 39.50, I believe, let's see, yes. $39.50 and that was just in a matter of like a month. I'm not too sure how their price increases work. I think they do certain items like some of the other fashion houses throughout the year at different times. So just pay attention if there's a bag from Celine that you do want. They did have a price increase recently. So it seems like all the luxury fashion houses do price increases, kind of get you used to the fact that it's coming and then hit you with a few more before the year is <laughs> Out. I'm glad that I did get it before this price increase. It's definitely something different for me as far as the color, as far as the daintiness of it. It's just so delicate. So we'll see in the long run if I end up liking that or not. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that the gold hardware also has Celine here on the strap and then on the sides. Oh, but it's just a beautiful bag and I'm a sucker for hardware, especially gold hardware. So the fact that this has the most beautiful gold hardware just got me. I think for my first Celine piece, this is perfect. It's classic. I think I'll be good no matter what. Obviously, I already have equity in the bag basically <laughs> because it went from $3,400 to $3,950. So that was for sure a win. If you have an experience with Celine and the pricing, please share below because I do have my eye on a few other things. I actually think I want one of their canvas bags. It'll be a while before I get my next bag, but just something that I need to kind of keep an eye out on. I do think it's a great investment piece if you can get it soon, <laughs> sooner than later as far as uh, pricing goes. And I think it's a classic that's just gonna be around for a very, very, very long time. If you haven't watched my last video on bags that I hate in my collection, be sure to check that out because it just goes to show you that everything that you get is not necessarily for you and it won't always work out. Um, be sure to subscribe so I can see you in my next video. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.